I'm here at Hazleton Radiology on Laurel Street and of course it is part of the Greater Hazleton Health Alliance and today I'm going to have a mammogram and it's a digital mammogram, am I right Dr. Patton? Yes, this is digital mammography here at Hazleton Radiology and at the Wellness Center out on uh, Beltway. Okay, so people can come to either location and of course I did refer to Dr. Patton, Dr. Donald Patton, you've been mm -hmm. here at your Hazelton Radiology Center along with Dr. Chotla. Mm -hmm. And you have many tests that are done here, including the digital mammography. So who should have a mammography? Uh, the current guidelines on mammography are women over the age of 40 should have yearly mammography from that point on basically until until they don't have any uh, tests at all. All right, and so you're saying that women over the age of 40, what if a woman does a self-breast exam and she should find a lump? Is she then also qualified to come to have a digital mammography? Anytime a woman feels a lump or has any breast uh, symptoms whatsoever, pain or a discharge, uh, they need to get a mammogram, and they need to get a mammogram regardless of when their last mammogram had been done. Uh, those are what we call diagnostic mammograms, those are specifically designed to evaluate the symptom that the woman is having at the time. Okay, so other than self-breast exam and other types of x-rays, what does the digital mammogram actually find? What are you looking for? How can it diagnose? What does it do? Uh, mammography is designed to find breast cancer as early as possible. Uh, it's not a perfect test, but it's the best test that we have. Uh, the institution of mammography over the last 20 years or so has reduced the mortality of breast cancer by almost 30 or 40 percent. Uh, so it's been a real advance for women uh, as mammography gets better. The digital mammography, which we've been using for about the last six or eight years, uh, is, a, is a big advance over the mammography that we did before. But uh, mammography is a, is a critical part of a woman's uh, uh, preventive health care. Okay, well I'm here for mine today as, you ca as I did mention and this is the machine right here and yes. a woman stands in front of the machine as I've done before and you can mm -hmm. take it from there. What happens after that? Uh, mammography is uncomfortable for a woman but it shouldn't be painful. There's a few things that, that will help women uh, when they come for their mammogram. Caffeine will make your breasts more tender, so you should avoid caffeine for at least 24 hours prior to the mammogram. Uh, in addition, women who are still uh, experiencing their, their menstrual cycle, it's best if they, if they avoid the period of menses, because their breasts are more tender at that point. Uh, it's an uncomfortable procedure, but it shouldn't be painful. It just takes a few minutes, uh, and that's all there is to it. Okay, I'm Deb Blissant at the Hazleton Health and Wellness Center, the Hazleton Radiology on Laurel Street for this week's Health Check.